What's up guys, it's your girl Kendra Lisa. and we're back with another freaking video. Before we get into this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and if you are already subscribed, hit that post notification bell so you can see when your girl posts. Another thing, we're about to get into this video, this skit, I'm gonna go through it quick. I have a second channel guys and I just started it up. It's geared towards all things motivation, inspiring me doing travel vlogs, trying new things, doing a lot of self love work, all of this good stuff aiding to my growth and I want to be able to inspire others, motivate others. If you are interested in that, I will have a link to that channel down below so you guys can check it out. But yeah, that's enough of that. That's enough of that. We ain't here for that. We here for the skit. We are here to say, mm, let's see if she gonna say something that I can relate to because I will. Without further ado, ignore the little curlies in the back of my head. And let's get into the video. So today we're gonna be talking about when your siblings are treated different than you. Like when your younger siblings are treated way different than what you were raised up on and treated like. And I've been experiencing this, especially since I moved back with my parents. I've been noticing a lot of things that my younger brother gets to do or say that we could never, when I say we, me and my brothers, could never say or do. The first thing that I've noticed is this boy does not have chores. Your younger sibling doesn't have as many chores as when you were his age. I'm telling you, when I was younger, every time I had to come home from school, me and my older brothers had a list of chores we had to do before we could even go outside. Right after our homework, we had to read and then we had to do our chores. So the dishes, sweeping, cleaning down the stairs, cleaning the bathroom, cleaning the kitchen. We had to do all that stuff. So I come to New York just to see my little brother only really takes out the trash and the recycling. He kind of does the dishes now. I know he did not do the dishes before, but now that he, they, he does the dishes when we eat at the dinner table, depending on who cooks. I'm flabbergasted at that because it was such a big thing if we didn't do our chores. But if he doesn't do it, it's fine. There was one day that the trash had to be taken out. So his mom was like, oh, um, take out the trash. And he went there and sat there and said, oh, you can just push it down. It's not, it's not full yet. And she was fine with that. When I tell you, if I would have said that, or my brothers, older brothers would have said that, we would, they would have been like, okay, still take it out. Not fair. Kendra. Yeah, what's up? What's this? I was just using the bathroom. I was going to get to it. No. Once you walk in that door, you do your chores and you get it done. I don't care about whatever else you have left to do. You come in and you take out the recycling. That is your chore. That's your only chore you have to do today. Okay, I'm sorry. Take the recycling out. Hey, D. Yeah. Can you just take out the recycling for me, please? Okay. Thanks. The next thing that I realized is a big difference. When me and my brothers were younger, like if my dad or my stepmom called one of us downstairs, our names or whatever, like if we didn't hear them, they would keep calling, keep calling, and then get mad if we didn't hear them. I've noticed now, once again, when my little brother is in his room and my dad or stepmom calls him, they just do a D'Angelo. Then they wait. And they don't continuously yell for him. And then when he does come downstairs, eventually, he's fine. He don't get in trouble. It's, it's just, it's fine. Ain't, ain't no problem with that. Or, or what they do now since I'm here, Kendra, go upstairs and get your brother. So you ain't gonna yell? You ain't gonna raise your voice like you did with us? Like you just gonna, you just gonna use me to go upstairs to get him? Kendra! Kendra! Yeah. How hard is it to hear? Come downstairs, we gotta go. Hey, D. Yeah. Hey, real quick, um, you wanna drive to the store real quick? Yeah, sure. All right, let's go. A third thing that I just don't understand, I wasn't allowed to close my bedroom door. I don't know why they thought it was such a big deal to have our door closed, but I, I don't understand what the problem was. 
and I moved back and I see my little brother closing his door. Like if I close my door or my older brothers close their door, they would be open up the, don't close your door. Leave your door open. It's like, dang, I'm trying to have a private concert dancing on my bed in my room and I just don't want you guys to see me. But I can't have my door closed so that, you know, you guys don't get disturbed. Or if I'm too loud, you guys don't let me close my door. Come on. And my little brother here always has his door closed. Like, always has his door closed. And I'm like, yo, y'all just let him close the door? Like, you don't even open the door and you knock on his door? You knock on his... I'm tight, bro. Like, <laughs> but... What's the excuse? We tired now. Oh, you tired? You ain't think I was tired of your nonsense? You don't think I was tired of your nonsense? Okay, okay. I know this young lady does not. Don't close your door. Don't close your door. I didn't tell you to close the door. No, you leave it open. I don't care. Hey, hey, D. Hey, so yeah. Fourth thing that I've noticed that my little brother does that we cannot do, or what we got in trouble for. Those days you have nothing to do, or you're you're not at school. We were not allowed to sleep all day. If we slept too late, our parents would come in the room like, uh, wake up get stuff done, do your chores, go outside, help clean the backyard, help do this, you're coming to the store with us, this, that, that, and this. But, guess who sleeps all day without no problem? Stays in his room all day without no problem. You're right, my little brother. He literally is in his room all day. And even my parents know, like they're like, is he sleeping still? And that's it, that's all they get. Is he sleeping still? They don't go upstairs, knock on his door to get him. They don't tell him to do stuff to get out the house. Nothing, because why, he's an angel child. He's the best child. Wait, excuse me? It's so unfair, but I'm grown now. I'm allowed to sleep all day if I wanted to. Hey, so, <laughs> oh, D, no, he, He's probably sleeping, you know, teenage boys, they just sleep all day. <laughs> oh, talking about Kendra, hold on, hold on one second. Hold on one second. Kendra! Are you still asleep? Yeah, I was. Come on, you're supposed to be helping your brothers in the backyard. Let's go. Okay. Last but not least, before if you guys want a part two, let me know. But last but not least, me and my brothers, we had to eat whatever they made. It does not matter. And we couldn't like rummage through the kitchen and eat whatever we wanted. If we had spinach in a can, we had to eat the spinach in a can. If the steak was well done, well, well done, we had to eat the steak. If the chicken was dry, <laughs> we had to eat the chicken. But my brother is a picky eater and he's allowed to be a picky eater. He doesn't have to eat whatever's on the dinner table. He doesn't get the eat this, you eating this food or else you don't get dessert. You're eating this food or else you ain't going to bed. Like, dang, like, but he can just, you make him a separate meal from the other meal because he doesn't eat what's in the other meal. He doesn't have to eat all his veggies, like, but I do. And he's allowed to go through the cabinets and scrummage and eat whatever he wants. Matter of fact, they buy him specific food to eat so that he has snacks in the house. I had to sneak. I used to come home from school and I used to get a little spoonful of icing, put some sprinkles on that bit, put some caramel or chocolate drizzle on top, put some whipped cream, sugar out the ass. And I enjoyed it, but I had to sneak it. He don't have to sneak it. He can eat whatever he wants throughout the day. Why aren't you eating your food? You just, it, I don't, I don't like bananas. Okay, but there's kids starving. Eat your food or she ain't going to bed. You ain't having dessert, nothing. Okay. Let's go, because you're going to eat it tomorrow if you don't eat it tonight. I don't care. Okay, is everything uh, fine, D? I don't really like bananas. Oh, yeah, I know you don't really like those, but um, just go ahead and try something else. Okay.
Yeah, you know, I'll just, I'll just have, I'll just have one of these. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, cool. But I'm just saying. Is it fair? No. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you can relate to any of that. Let me know if you have younger siblings that you've noticed gets treated differently. If like a little better, I would say. They're a little more spoiled. And then your parents have an excuse as to why they do what they do. We're too old. We're getting tired. He grew up by himself pretty much. Like shut, shut. don't talk to me. I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear the shenanigans coming out of your mouth right now. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys can relate to the video. And once again, I post every Tuesday and Thursday. And um, on my other channel, I will be doing Vlogtober as well. I forgot to say that. I will be doing Vlogtober on my other channel. Like I said, the link to that channel is down below. And let, yeah, yeah, yeah. let me know other videos that you would like to see that may be relatable or that you can possibly relate to that you want to see me talk about um, and do a skit about and all that good stuff. Without further ado, Kendra Elise, we out.